Hey YouTube, uh, it's been some time since I posted a video, uh, in my last video, uh, someone did hit my car, it was a lady, two weeks into having my car on the road, she decides to hit it, uh, going back and forth with insurance companies, so on, so anyways, long story short, I got my car back, it's been going back and forth at the shop, getting the minor imperfections done, there are still some, but, you know, I could deal with some, but anyways, the video's actually, this video is actually, um, to do a follow-up on the AT, sorry, VTA, <laughs> VTA blow-off valve. As you can see, I have it in my hand. It was installed. I took it out. I was getting, I was getting in, going into limp mode a lot. And now I have my V, sorry, DV plus diverter valve. And it is number T9358. So I got that back in there again. This is your Mercedes one. Rickety ass, rubber, plastic, junk. And you're lucky if you get hit eight pounds on that one. And to hold it, um, what it holds is you're lucky if you hold three. It, it fluctuates. It, you, like I said, it struggles to hold three pounds. Anyways, this, I can't knock it yet. Um, I was in contact with Naresh from Tornado Tunings. And we're talking back and forth. And he's like, as long as the cylinder inside, that cylinder moves freely. You can hear it. You're fine. And now, <clears throat> I don't know the whole science behind it. I do know that these are supposed to recycle air. I know. I uh, recycle boost. And that's what the DV Plus does. <clears throat> this uh, shoots it out in the atmosphere. And you're so you lose performance, given. That's fine. I don't care. I, I'm not a dry car. But I don't want to lose too much. And the fact that it went into limp mode kind of pissed me off a lot. Now... Was is this defective? I don't know. What I'm going to do though, and I'm going to do it early spring, is I'm going to lube it up a bit more because maybe something jammed that cylinder and left it opened while I was just driving normally. Like I said, I don't know, so I'm not knocking it. Go Fast Bits makes great products, so I'm not going to knock them at all because the DB Plus that I have it works great. So maybe it could be a defective product again. I don't know. So I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to try it again. Maybe I didn't lube it enough, throw it back in there early spring, and we'll see what happens. But unfortunately, I can't do an actual final thought on this product until then. So, like I said, uh, today I gave it a final detail, and the car is being stored. Here it is now. There she is. Paint job's great. Like I, I just absolutely love the paint job. The flakes in it. Uh, if you can see it. Let me go a little too fast. I know I showed this in my last video, but... That's it. The car's going to sleep for the winter. It's almost, it's depressing. I, I put, I think, 200 kilometers on this thing. You know, I, I get it out of storage. Someone hits it. And, you know, it shit happens. I get it. Uh, and then that's it. I, I never drove it to work again. I put my truck back on the road. So anyways, this video was meant for uh, people who are asking about the, the VTA and this is all I can say about the VTA right now is that I will have to let you know um, early spring. Early spring, I'll put it back in and then uh, add a little bit of more lube, see what happens. And just we'll just go from there. Uh, if you choose to buy it and uh, if you don't want to really want to wait, go ahead. You know, like I said, they make great products. If you have an issue, contact GoFastBits. You'll probably be uh, better off doing that. And they might even send you a new one if you have an issue with it. I mean, maybe it was just me. Who knows? Maybe I didn't lube it enough. Like I said, early spring. I'll let you know. But thanks for watching. And uh, who knows? I might actually post uh, other videos other than my car. So just keep watching. And uh, I appreciate the ones who have subscri subscribed. And anybody else who watches it, hey, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, comment below, whatever you want to do. But uh, again, thanks for watching, man.